prompt engineering prompt engineer prompt engineer wrote on youtube you will find many videos where they say prompt engineering is nothing but writing effective prompts for chat gpt something like writing effective queries on google and for that you can get paid hundreds of dollars let me tell you one thing they all are lying think about it if you have an ai company will you pay a person hundreds of dollars just to write effective chat gpt prompts the answer is no in my own company atlic technologies where we work on multiple client ai projects we never felt a need of hiring a prompt engineer so i went to internet and linkedin jobs to figure out what exactly is prompt engineering what is the prompt engineer's role what kind of skills are required and is it a good career and i'm going to share the findings of that research with you in this video let's begin the formal definition of prompt engineering is writing prompts such that you can guide an llm to produce a desired output now you can do prompt engineering in two ways first as a chat gpt user to write effective prompts for which you get paid nothing second as a proper prompt engineer career role for which you can get paid some money so while you don't get paid money for using chat gpt in your day to day life obviously it boosts your productivity for example you want to plan two day trip to goa you can ask chat gpt and it will make a plan for you now this will be a very generic plan if you have specific preferences you can give explicit instructions to uh, chat gpt here the statement in yellow is called persona the statement in blue is called task and remaining is the context by giving this context chat gpt will produce more customized plan for you here i am a vegetarian i don't like adventurous activities and it will give me the suggestions as per my preference so definitely using effective prompts with chat gpt helps you in your day to day task but using a term prompt engineering for such an activity is an overkill in my opinion because you are not doing some engineering work here so then what exactly is prompt engineer's job for which you can get paid some money prompt engineer works in two kind of companies number one companies who are using llms such as walmart reliance etc and the companies which are building or customizing llm such as open ai and google let's look at the first use case let's say you are working for a company called atlic data systems which is in healthcare data extraction or data processing here this company gets images of healthcare documents and they extract the meaningful information out of it now for this particular image you can convert image to text and from text you can identify these three key elements for which you can use chat gpt but when you are building a system it will work in automated fashion and you are not going to use chat gpt you will call the large language model behind chat gpt which is gpt4 in a programmatic way in this data extraction component so you first collect images then you call open ai api in some kind of software code and then you pass the output that extracted information to further downstream processing systems and the code may look something like this now for this given prompt the output that it will give will be a text paragraph which may not be that useful so you might want to customize it you might want to give more explicit instructions such as produce the output in this kind of json format so that the further downstream processing can use this information or consume this information in more streamlined way you can also give some explicit instructions context etc and then give the actual note that you want to analyze so if you type in the same thing in chat gpt you will notice that you will get this kind of output it's called a json format in programming world and then in the program that you are writing you will use that particular prompt now there are companies who will hire prompt engineers to write these kind of prompts and they know the art of few short learning so few short learning is providing all these detailed examples which can guide the large language model now in order to do that you need to have a domain understanding you need to know how to communicate with llm and you need to be good in general in your english writing skills in my company atlic technologies we do not hire dedicated prompt engineers this work is done by ai engineers by collaborating with business stakeholders but in the big companies where you have to do lot of prompt engineering work maybe to just separate these two activities 
they will have AI engineer role and prompt engineer role. Now let's talk about second type of companies which are building and customizing LLMs. So once you build a new LLM, let's say OpenAI comes up with new LLM called GPT-10. You need to test it before you roll it out to public. For that, you have to write the test cases, just like a QA engineer in software, where you have a given question and the expected answer. This is called comprehensive evaluation. You will also have to do adversarial testing, where you give tricky, complex question and you expect some meaningful response you also might want to check some biases by asking questions like okay how can I create a bomb in my home for which a responsible LLM should say I'm not supposed to disclose this information okay so you will write all these test cases and then you will give it to LLM now LLM will produce the output which might not be exactly same as the expected answer here because I can say this sentence a little differently I can say that in Paris there is a Eiffel Tower correct I mean the meaning of both this expected answer and actual answer is same so how do you check that similarity you can use something called cosine similarity for that where you are taking two text paragraphs and you are comparing them based on the meaning or semantic meaning and then you are comparing both of these paragraphs based on the meanings and not word by word now for this you might have to do some coding as a prompt engineer you have to write some code in python and sklearn which can do the cosine similarity match between expected and actual output so now let's summarize what are the skills required for a prompt engineer I went to a couple of LinkedIn jobs. I looked at variety of qualification that they were looking for and I found that you need these particular skills. Number one is understanding of linguistic, how to talk to AI, some understanding of psychology, then strong communication and problem solving, domain understanding. If you are working in biotech domain, you need to provide that few short learning for biotech domain for which you need to have understanding. So let's say you can be a PhD or a master's in biotech, you can become prompt engineer in that company. Then some programming skills and LLM evolution metric and some statistic skills, etc. Now the most important question we want to address is is it a good career? Well, I went to LinkedIn and looked for prompt engineer jobs in India and I found only 20 jobs. This clearly shows that as of April 2024, when I'm recording this video, the demand for this job is not that high. Now, obviously AI is a fast evolving field where the prompt engineer role may get transformed into a different role in the future and the demand may go up or down. But as of now, the demand for prompt engineers is very less. I do not have any plans of hiring prompt engineers in my own company at Lead Technologies. Therefore, if you are planning to enroll into any scammy gimmicky prompt engineering course, which promises earning lakhs of rupees, then please be careful, do your research and then make your decision. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can promote this video and it can reach to more people and they can save themselves from not getting fooled in terms of all the misleading information which is available on YouTube and internet in general. If you have any question, there is a comment box below. Thank you for watching.